Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Develop your peacock effect. You know what, and this is kind of a follow up what I was talking about yesterday, where I talked about, uh, you know, women looking for something to like about a man. Here's the thing, and you know, you gotta have a bait. You gotta have something that stands out about you when a woman sees you. And I've said this before, I said this in a video the other week, you know, when a woman, when a woman is out here, when a woman is out here, especially if she's attractive, she got about several men hitting on her a day. Several, several, even if she's just average or decent, something, it, 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 let's just say she's a six. She's gonna have several men hitting on her because she that's just slightly above average. So imagine she's a seven or eight or even uh, what men consider a dime. Several men gonna be hitting on her. She got 20 men. Some of them, all, hey, a, a few of them gonna have a mouthpiece, you know? All right, so what is it that she's going to differentiate? Your appearance, your look. Now, the peacock effect. Now, that's been talked about, uh, you know, outside of this space or something. And let me be clear, it ain't something I'm making up. But it's just understanding, hey, a male had that coloration, you know, or some design. Uh, females of the species are going to like it. Like you see the literal peacock, they got all this flowery stuff and everything. That's to draw the female's attention. You know, if you look at other male animals, they're going to look a certain way and it will draw the female's attention. The same thing with a man. See, that's a big part of it. That's, it you know. You get some guys thinking, well, you know, if I spit that game and everything, but okay, you still got to look some way for you to stand out for she to even give you a chance. And see, the thing is, and I talked about this in a previous video, a man can develop it. You know, you can develop it and everything. See, you got to have something, something about you that make you stand out when you walk in a room, something about you. You can't be just some ordinary dude. You got to have something. You know, I talk about the body game, you know, I'm going to tell you what, personally, when I walk in a room, I get, I get some people, some women, especially, they be like, yeah, yeah, they notice it. They notice it. It, it draws their attention. It kind of wakes them up a bit. Then I have an opportunity. It ain't saying I'm going to get the women, but at least they like looking. It's like, oh, okay. It's like when they're. You know, if you got that like broad shoulders, big chest and arms and everything, it stands out. And then, and I give it to some guys who talk about height. Height stands out. Of course, that's that's an easy one. That's more the peacock effect. It, it gives the man a chance. It don't necessarily mean he gonna get the woman, but she's gonna automatically look towards it. You know, like uh, my son, my son is, uh, you know what? Uh, it's hard to tell his height. It's hard to, eat. I say, uh, between 6'3", between 6'2 and 6'3", or 6'3 and 6'4". Honestly, I ain't even sure. But you know what? He stands out. When people, he be walking and even though he's quiet, like I've seen women just be like, yeah, or, you know, be shopping or something. And a woman will comment about his height or something like that. Because uh, only 3% of the uh, men on the planet are over 6'2". And so guys who point out height and everything, no, no, they correct. But it's more the peacock effect. It don't, it's not automatic the woman is going to get with him, but it's going to open the door for him if, you know, he talked to the woman or approach her or is in position where she can put herself in his path, right? That's a definite thing. Uh, the face thing, it depends. That's, that's a strong, that's, that depends on the woman's taste. That's because all women ain't gonna look at the same thing. And in fact, I would say height stands out more than individually than face. Like, cause women can see height from a distance. But that's natural. For everything else, you can build up. You can still build up your body and all of that. You know, try to get as muscular as possible one way or the other. All right, but then somebody would say, well, hold up, Ron, I'm average height, you know, and I lift, but, you know, my jeans ain't really there, you know, get muscular or get those striations or anything, you know, striations, y'all. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, so you don't, you don't really have that. So hold up. 
that's when your drip, your fit, your sauce, uh, your swag, whatever. When people say that, it depends on what you're wearing, your clothing and how you wearing it. That's why, that's why I'm, look, that's why you get a lot of young people. A lot of young people get it. Like uh, when I was talking about the Smash and Pass videos a few weeks ago, you know, a big reason why women would say smash or pass to a man because they either liked his uh, drip or they didn't. They liked his clothing, you know, and everything or didn't. In fact, they would say, nah, I don't like those shoes, pass. Something like that. That can make you stand out. And, you know, and that's in the real world. That's why you look at a lot of guys. No, nah, they, they don't got that physical stand out. They ain't that tall, you know. And, you know, had that model face. But they'll make sure their drip is on point. Their clothing, their style. That's why it's a big thing with them. That's why they'll make sure their haircut. It's got to be something. It's something to catch the eye of the woman and to open her up for, you know, for the interaction. And everybody, you know what, as I said in the last video, every man can develop something. Every man should work on something. You know, that's a key thing. You know, you don't want, ah, let me move up a bit. You don't want, like, just to go outside and just playing and everything. You know, that's why the other week I talked about presentation. You have control over that. That's the beauty of it. You can find something. You can find something. Let me refer to the Smash and Pass videos. Even before they got big. Even before they got big. What did I say? I said women will give a man a blowjob off his shoes. <laughs> and in those Smash and Pass videos, the women, they were choosing a man based off his shoes. They were smashing. They were saying smash based off his shoes. You can control how you drive. In fact, that's old school game. That's just old school game, the appearance. It's like, look. Not necessarily the muscles, but that's the one people can control the most. How you dress, how you you come up or anything, you know? Because like, okay, if I'm out and about, you know, got my Lacoste shirt on. I will probably, if I walk in the room with this Lacoste shirt on and, you know, some nice pants or maybe some shorts, I will probably get more attention than I would if I came in with some department store uh, shirt. It just is. You know, if they ain't feeling the body, it's like, oh, he got that Lacoste. Mm -hmm. You know, the jewelry, everything. I mean, women be looking at all of that. But you can develop that. That's the thing. That's the that's the thing. And it's very important. I mean, we, we got to look. Not just looks, but overall appearance matters. I'm not, like I say, I ain't one of those people who say it don't because they look at the whole package and you can develop it to the best of your ability. It's in nature. It's in nature. You look at the lion. The male lion isn't that much bigger than the female lion, but he has that mane, you know? Definitely the peacock. Shoot, if you look at, look at the coloration of male animals. In fact, honestly, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of animals, uh, male animals look, they'll stand out more than the female, if you really look. So it's like, fix up everything you can. Fix up everything you can. And like I said, I always say, get some guys and they'll hit me. I say, oh, I'm ugly. You say, well, shit, get a haircut. And I'm serious. I'm serious. Fix up as best as you can. Because I'm going to tell you something about women. Many women get turned on by a man who fixes up anyway. You know, despite everything. They'll look at a man and say, well, no, nah, physically he ain't all that, but he, he got some nice clothes on. He got a nice suit on, you know? Shoot, even other men can see the clothing in the drip. I remember I was in a mall one time and I saw this dude, he had this nice suit. I had to give him a comment. I said, man, that's a good suit, bro. <laughs> Shoot. I was asking him where he got it and everything. Cause y'all don't realize something about Rob. I'm, I'm a little bit more chill now, but trust me, I can throw them on. I can throw on those rags when I need to. So, you know, develop your peacock effect. Develop it, all right? So anyway, that's all I got for now. I'll get back with y'all later and stuff. Peace and blessings.